Hi, I am Dr. Shashida, surgical gastroenterologist working with Narayana Group for last nine years. I have come to talk about an interesting case uh, about, of a small bowel uh, obstruction seen recently during the COVID uh, pandemic. She is a 50-year-old female uh, who had presented to us uh, with uh, uh, profuse vomiting for 15 days, abdominal distension and not past motion for eight days. Prior to coming uh, to our hospital in HSR Narayana, she has been seen uh, by a gastroenterologist in Tumkur and had an endoscopy and treated for gastritis. As the symptoms of patient didn't get better, abdomen distension get worse and she was feeling uh, more sick, she presented herself along with the, one of the relatives into the casualty of our hospital. On evaluation in the casualty, she was severely dehydrated she was hyponatremic and with the acute renal failure and abdomen was very distended and she has tender in the abdomen with the visible peristaltic loops. She had undergone a CT scan which confirmed that there is a small bowel uh, obstruction uh, at the level of terminal ileum with a proximal uh, dilatation of the small bowel. On admission, our sodium was 109, our potassium was 4.4, uh, and her kidney functions were severely deranged with a serum creatinine of uh, more than 4. She was admitted into ICU. Uh, she was managed by the intensivist Dr. Harish and uh, nephrologist Dr. Suma. Uh, both of them resuscitated with the fluid and corrected her electrolyte balance. Subsequently, after a 24 to 48 hours after correction of uh, electrolytes and the kidney function, she was taken to the theater. At, at the time of laparotomy, uh, uh, she has opened with a midline and we found that there is a severe dilatation of the proximal intestine. There is a transit point around 20 centimeter from the ileocecal junction and the transition was due to some, some mass like our intraluminal object. At the time, we just prepared to take out that intraluminal object and we incised the intestine and for our surprise, uh, it was a hair ball, uh, hair ball fully stuck in there. This was completely taken out and uh, small bowel decompressed and the entrotomy was closed and patient was shifted back to ICU. She was managed in the ICU for next to two or three days and she was discharged on the fifth day post operation. Uh, she was eating and drinking and her kidney functions have become normal and she was uh, having no further trouble. She was followed up again after a ten, 10 days, uh, there was no wound infection and she was recovering back to normalcy. And further inquiry uh, into her uh, history, she initially denied having consumed any hairs. We started to think how did the hair got into the intestine and we further probed the family members and her sister admitted that she used to uh, pick the hairs and consume the hairs as a child. This was an interesting fact and further enquiry she admitted uh, and uh, when we confirmed with her facts, she admitted that she has taken the hair ball. And further going back in the literature, uh, hair ball causing a small bowel obstruction, there are 20 or 30 cases reported. Most of them are called as Repugin's syndrome. This syndrome is commonly seen in adolescent uh, children, usually between uh, 12 to 18 or 19 years old kids. And most of them have been reported saying uh, they presented a small bowel obstruction for which the, end, uh, the hair ball has been removed successfully. And this is the first case in the literature where I have seen a 50 year old presenting with a small bowel obstruction for, from a hair ball consumption. In fact, I have seen so many uh, small bowel obstructions from various other causes, uh, commonly uh, because of uh, uh, entangled mass of roundworms, which is the commonest cause of intestinal obstruction in India. Whereas here, it is a uh, hair ball in a 50 year old is a very, very rare thing. And we went through the literature, searched through, and there are no published uh, cases of a small bowel obstruction presenting uh, from a hair ball are what we call trichobazar. Trichobazars also uh, are very well known to present with a gastric outlet obstruction. The, if you look at in adults, trichobazars, uh, the hair mass getting into the, into the stomach is very common. 
most of this hair mass gets entangled in the stomach they do not pass through the pylorus or the narrowest part of the stomach most of the time uh, trichobazar is seen within the stomach in the adults in this case the hair ball has passed through the uh, spilorus and it has blocked in the terminal portion of the ileum causing a small bowel obstruction this is a very interesting case she has done a very good recovery at the multidisciplinary team work which made us possible to have this uh, case recovered very well we we have involved the intensivist dr harish uh, dr suma is our nephrologist the, the dr murli there who is the consultant casualty uh, emergency doctor and uh, dr shiv kumar is our gastroenterologist who helped us to uh, initially get this patient uh, into our into the hospital and uh, and the psychiatrist who who helped us to counsel these patients and relatives uh, it's a good teamwork we had a fantastic results and patient was very happy with the end results of the operation thank you very much mm -hmm.